Trump yeah. is in the news again because no, allowing. Nice shot, isn't it? What do you think? Getting an establishing shot. You're so handsome. I don't care. Can you Redneck. So handsome. Do you know who's running for president this year? Who's running for president this year? You don't know, do you? You actually don't know. Well, I'll tell you folks, it's Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. All right, roll the unblackening. <laughs> so basically, Donald Trump is like this fellow, L. Ron Hubbard, the man who started Scientology. Uh, they both have red hair. Wait, I, the angry gay pope, your humble narrator, am getting ahead of myself. Hubbard and Trump are different in a few ways. One was born poor, but with an attention span, and was a writer. The other was born rich, with no attention span, and is probably illiterate. What? Illiterate? Yes! I mean, do you want me to read it? Uh... It's, of, it's long. It is long. It's very long. It is long. I don't have my glasses. I mean, I, I am at a disadvantage because I didn't bring my glasses. This is such small writing. It's you know what we can do? We can have a bigger copy made of these pages. Let me we'll try. Let me just do it. it. Would you be able to read this section? and tell us what your understanding of it is. Objection. <laughs> Mr. Trump isn't a lawyer. The signs that Trump can't read have been in front of us all along. In some cases, the signs have literally been right there in front of us. <laughs> but how does he tweet if he can't read? Do you actually sit there type, or do you say something uh, and somebody else type? During the day I'm in the office, I just shouted out to one of the Young ladies who are tremendous, have a tremendous office staff. And, and does this look like the signature of a man who can't read? <laughs> but think about it. When Trump is on the campaign trail, what's his biggest enemy? I mean, besides knowledge, integrity, and basic human decency? I don't use teleprompters. You know what I use? I don't use teleprompters. I don't believe in teleprompters. Okay, so he's like, he doesn't really know how to read. For real. Yeah, and he loves to improv. Yeah. So during like the table read, he would go, uh, I'm not going to say this. I think I'm going to say it the way I want to say it. Is that okay? There was a, a sketch that we wrote where he's at Disneyland with his daughter, and the line is, uh, all right, let's get out of here. Turkey legs? Like, let's like go get turkey sure. legs? And he doesn't know how to read. So he went, <laughs> all right, let's get out of here, turkey legs. <laughs> <laughs> he called his daughter turkey, turkey legs. <laughs> Illiteracy is sad. I, for one, am impressed that even with his alleged disability and with just a multi-million dollar loan from his father, Donald Trump was able to become one of the richest people in the country. Some of the richest people in this country are people that can't even read or write. They both uh, love to buy buildings and put their names on them. They both love to write self-help books. They both have fake universities. And they're both power mad and crazy. but he'll be bankrupt by that time, so I won't have to worry, but... Uh... You... Probably sue Rosie. Let's start with Bill Maher. I'll sue him. When she uses the word fraud, that's pretty strong, so we're going to be suing her. If Ted Cruz doesn't clean up his act, stop cheating and doing negative ads, I have standing to sue him. He's threatening to sue the Club for Growth. We've also heard him talk about how he's going to sue the New York Times. Univision. I'm going to have to sue Univision now. Because the website PolitiFact checked 77 of his statements and rated 76% of them as varying degrees of false. And I've witnessed this firsthand. He once attacked my old boss by tweeting, if Jon Stewart is so above it all and legit, why did he change his name from Jonathan Leibowitz? He should be proud of his heritage. And then two years later wrote, I never attacked dopey Jon Stewart for his phony last name. Would never do that. 
This young girl, Tara Connor, how old is she? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 21. She went out and she was partying. She's from Kentucky. She's so cute. She went to New York and she was hanging out at all the parties, doing what Paris and Lindsay do, you know, right. dancing, whatever. And so he held a press conference <laughs> to announce whether or not she was going to retain her crown. Yeah, and then yeah. she started to cry. She did. So I, I just want to thank Donald. Just give me a second chance. And, and brilliant. And there he is, hair looping, going, everyone, everyone deserves a second chance. And I'm going to give her a second chance. This hair is perfect for that. Your hair is perfect for that. Listen, he annoys me on a multitude of levels. He's the moral authority. Left the first wife, had an affair. Left the second wife, had an affair. Had kids both times. But he's the moral compass for 20-year-olds in America. They agree with me. Trump stakes are the world's greatest stakes, and I mean that in every sense of the word. Trump stakes? Okay, that's the only other difference. Scientologists don't sell stakes. They only sell sizzle. Trump sells sizzle and stakes. Uh, they both have red hair. They both uh, love to buy buildings and put their names on them. They both love to write self-help books. They both have fake universities, and they're both power mad and crazy. So a vote for uh, Donald Trump is basically like voting for Scientology. So don't do it. Don't be fooled like these Scientologists were fooled. You'll end up like them. Oh, gesundheit. Are you on the RPF? No. You're not. You look like you're on the RPF. You wear black and you have filthy clothing. In conclusion.